Hi, I'm Paul Begley. We're off to a good start today, but I know I've got some of you who have been following my videos who are saying, where's Armageddon? Where's Armageddon, Paul? Well, you're, Armageddon is an event. Armageddon is a, is a time, a dreaded time, when a war will take place. The Battle of Gog and Magog, right there in the Valley of Megiddo, just off the foothill of the Mount Megiddo, which is in the valley between Mount Megiddo and Mount Carmel. It's a historical place. It's where the battle will take place. But you got to have an enemy, and you got to be, and they have to be prepared to go to war. And Israel has elected to stand down and not launch a preemptive strike on Iran's brand new nuke, nuclear plant there in Bushir, Bushir, Iran. Well, Iran today has uh, decided they've got some more things. They like to sh show off another new weapon. So today, Iran is test fired a new missile. It's the third third version of the Fatah 110. Uh, it's nicknamed by Ahmadinejad as the Conqueror. All right, so this is three days in a row. Let's get let's roll back the clock. On Monday, he launched a, uh, a new drone and called it the Ambassador of Death. On Tuesday, he launched the unveiled the the plans to build new assault boats that have the ability to hold four missiles as they uh, will be apparently mass production is going to take place and they're going to be all over the Persian Gulf. Today he uh, unveils the new the new missile called the Conqueror. It is the third version of the Fatah 110. It's a it's a uh, missile that uh, can go about 120 miles. Now there's no uh, indication that it's actually been updated. I think this is another dog and pony show. Um, and just to be on the record, the assault boats that he talked about yesterday, they haven't started building them yet. Uh, so we hear about the mass protection, but they're not there yet. And then the drone on Monday, the ambassador of death. Well, reports are starting to leak out now that no one has ever seen this drone fly. So smoke and mirrors is the game that Ahmad Ahmadullahjad is playing. And um, my little dictator, I, I haven't... I have a hard time to decide who's the worst little dictator in the world, you know, whether whether the little dictator in North Korea or is it the one in Iran. It doesn't really matter. They're both little puppets to China. They're both little puppets to China. As a matter of fact, Iran is even a puppet to Russia. But that's between them. Israel uh, has put Armageddon on hold and has apparently made a decision not to do a preemptive strike because the whole world would have said, why did you do it? They don't even have nuclear weapons yet. So we're going to have to sit back and let this thing develop for another year, this time next year approximately, as these new nuclear weapons start being developed, uh, Israel will probably be in the process of applying more pressure. Or maybe just, just blowing it up. Or maybe they'll just do it tonight. Or maybe they'll do it tomorrow. I mean, that's the, that is the ability that Israel really has. Armageddon, we're on the brink of it. it could, we're in it. We're actually in it as the, the, uh, as the different nations um, prepare. For instance, Hezbollah is in the process of uh, begging for weapons for Lebanon. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm Paul Begley. The world is safe another day.